What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Shouldn't take you long to see the weird stuff in this one. Um, it's off in the distance, but man, is there a lot on it. And to be honest with you, this is so 787. Now, from 785 to 7, just, just recently, filled with stuff. I can make a picture, I can make a video out of every single one. I mean, you're looking right now at, I, I basically cleaned it up a little bit. Here is the actual NASA. From NASA, you can see the stuff, and it's a little bit blurred out. Let me show you the whole picture here. And I could probably take, you know, two hours on this one video. There's just so much stuff on it. And, uh, I mean, look at this thing over here. It's all taken out. I've got all sorts of different ways I've made it look. Added some color to some of these pieces just to show you what I think is off. Little, little off of the uh, the weird zone. I didn't really add as much there, but it's got like every type of rock, all sorts of things that look like tubes throughout it. Down here we have things that look like they've been tucked away, and they've got some art or uh, machinery, something along those lines. And just think about one of our cities, one of our metal cities, one like it's New York City. What would have happened if uh, you know we came back 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years and took a look at it and uh, most likely, dirt would be on top of it. It would be thrown everywhere. The elements would have smashed it up. Um, this planet, Mars, uh, was definitely alive at one time. And to me, it still is alive. There's water on it. There's clouds, all sorts of stuff going on. It's not a cold, dead planet that we've been told. Um, as you can see, there's relics from a past civilization, as well as possibly one that's going on there now. Um, I've heard it. Like I said, I've heard it argued in many times that there's a, a small civilization of aliens that are still left on Mars. Not aliens. I guess they'd be inhabitants of Mars, aliens to us. Uh, whether that's true or not, there's still a whole lot of weird stuff going on on that planet. Um, here, I forgot to get this little piece right here. I wanted to just this whole... Uh, here, let me go to my black and white copy here. Just this whole area right here. Oh! <laughs> That's how you do it. Which is how I make these colors is uh, you make a layer and you kind of just make it transparent. And uh, you can see how you just color it in there and up into here, this whole little area because it comes out to here. But then also there was this piece right here. So if you check my, uh, if you check what's up in the sky .com after I get done a video, I basically, a lot of these I will have taken off and put into place. They're, they're, if you go to the website, you know what I mean. I, this isn't just where I stop doing stuff. I actually take stills and I stick it up on the website. If any of my buddies from, uh, like, say, the Space Mars, uh, Space Zoom, my buddy Rami over at Exclusive Images, Mars Images, if any of they've done anything, I put their stuff up too. I'm sure I'm not the first person to see this picture. This picture has been going around the Internet for a while, so I'm not sure who to credit on some of these finds. But to be honest, the whole picture is just filled with junk. But this was the coolest thing to me there. Let me show you where I got it from. Here it is. And like I said, this whole picture just seems to be, uh, the whole soul is just filled with junk. Uh, so if you go check that out, download it. As always, put it in your collection. That's what I do it. Let's take a quick look at some of these. I think that we get the best look. This is what it looks like toned up a little bit. This is what I think it looks like. This, If we were standing on there, a cross between that and this right here. Um, see, I could probably even make it just, a, just by dropping the fill a little bit. As you can see, everything's running a little bit slow. I just upgraded to uh, Yosemite on here and still have a lot of stuff going on. Oops. Let me exit the undo pencil. All right, let me change that pencil mark on over. And let's take a look at some of these. I like, kind of like how I did that, how I put the, uh, drop the fill a little bit, show some of these. Now, just look at the uh, anomalies here, the boxes that seem to go between them. Here's another box that's pieced in there. But this thing right here, look at the symmetry of it. You can see the blur marks been used on it. See, and here's how I can say this with confidence, that either something has blurred it because they've been done in square marks. This is why I think there's a computer algorithm that's done it. It's not in these two blocks right here. You can see through these blocks. See how it's perfectly? And then there's another swipe that looks like it went up through here, but not as bad. See here? Here it kind of comes along. And then right when you get into this square, it goes away. Now down here, you can see perfectly. Now to me, that's something messing with it because it's not like that on every picture. I could pull up you know, the next shot and right here will not be blurred. Only there's interesting spots. Um, there was a lot of blinds effects. Now I've used what I've been doing lately instead of... Uh, Instead of just sharpening things up, I blur them again first. This is how it came from NASA. And you can still, it's there. I mean, we didn't, I didn't, just by sharpening it up, I didn't do anything but 
but uh, sharpen it up. Look at that. You can see there it is. If you want to look through black and the black and white to the original NASA version, you can as well. See, all I've done is just sharpen it up a little bit. You can really see the blur right there. It looks like it's been added just in a block marking. So, is it being done by hand? Is it being done by computer? Um, sometimes I debate myself. Here's where I call it the blinds effects right here. Wherever there seems to be symmetrical. Are, are, are parallel lines or something along the lines. The, it's either uh, a mistake with the Curiosity rover that only seems to work, only seems to be a mistake during certain times, um, or when it's like this. That's why I don't think it's a, a problem with the Curiosity rover. But this does kind of look like a little wheel that's right there. See now, I try to, I try to when I blur it and then bring it back, you kind of see how it's coming out a little bit. But you can still see where the blinds kind of kind of chop that up. This is just one long piece right down through there that goes into what looks like a wheel and what looks like just buried so up here you've got more and more this little piece is interesting right through here um, let me see if I can't do a little bit more through here see if you see a little bit better with the color in on it let me even give it a little bit more color with the fill Come on, mouse. This is driving pretty slow. All right, how about right there? That's just a little more of the color. You can let you see a little better. Sometimes people like the color, I think. But the main anomaly here, what's strange about it, it seems the top rock, whatever it is, piece of it, it comes out. There's like a, what seems to be a walk-in piece. Now, like I said, this is off in a distance pretty far. If there were small pieces, small aliens, small something on there, this could be the size of tubes that run through there. Because look how this seems to work. There's pieces that run off. Let me kill this. Look at these here. They come off and they come down and around. Things come down over here. They come around. Look at that. It comes through there. And then this piece itself, there's a sphere here. It comes out and comes around and goes down. And this piece comes around like here. We can't see what's going on right in the middle of there. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you guys. And just where it's been blurred right here too. Isn't that annoying to you guys? I mean, that right here has been blurred. This is one of the most interesting things in the picture. we got to deal with these nasty blur marks. You can see it, that it's there. And even if I drop it down to the original from NASA, uh, that blur, like I said, that blur is just right in your face. So let's see what else we pull out. And then all up here is just interesting to me. It comes up and it's got what seem to be just curved pieces that come along, come around everywhere, just all over the place. Then you look at you've got your block type areas down here that seem to be, look at this, let me uh, take that off. And it looks like either rock or something along those lines. But whatever it is, it, it looks like something that at one time was one piece. Mars just looks to be just dilapidated with stuff. More and more pieces. See how it's got that 90 degree curve on it. Comes around to another piece and it looks like it comes down. Let's go take a look at that. I know you guys, my if you're new to my videos, and a lot of you guys have seen my videos, the ones who have seen these videos and have, are probably like, whoa, 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 stop right there, stop right there. If you see anything really good I missed, hit the time marker. Please comment below. Let me know what you guys think. This just isn't a picture. Go out to the desert and take a picture and then come back. A lot of people are like, well, you just can go right out to Arizona or take a picture. Go out to the desert, take a picture where there's nothing, where you see nothing that's been man-made uh, or handmade, anything, and then come back. Let's see if it looks anything like this. If we get the perfect, and you can get perfect, perfect angles, squares in nature. There are certain uh, minerals that do it. And uh, some amazing, here it is right here, is what I really want to take a look at. Okay, because here's where you see the, the selective blurring of NASA has been added to this picture. Now, this in itself is pretty cool, this little relic right here. I don't know if I'll use this on this thumbnail or the thing up top. But whatever it is, I mean, it looks to, to come up here and to come around. And I mean, that's pretty amazing. Let me see if I can't hit it to black and white. You'll see a little better. Yeah, you can actually pull it out. That's with the color, I think. You'll be able to see what, I, what I'm seeing a little bit better. But look down here. It's got a little piece coming off of it. just looks broken off of it. Like this should probably belong up here. It looks like it's been thrown in its position. But everywhere around it, you see just little, like here's another 90 degree angle. It comes around. I don't have a color. It's, it's one piece that's not colored right there. But let's pull this off of here. And then take a look at some of these down here. Look at this right here, just sitting here. It looks like it's broken off the top of something very ornate. And here it sits with, you know, rounded angles on here, rounded rounded curves. It comes down here, it S's around. 
I mean, what would do that? Could that be some sort of a fossil, maybe? Have this come off of something? Let me add the color to it again. Let me show you also what it looks like without the color. I mean, that's pretty cool. Made that background copy right there. And uh, even over here, it seems like things have been played with. This, tell me it doesn't look like NASA faked this all out. You can tell right here where they've done it, especially when you start adding the blur or adding some of the effects. Here you got a perfect cut. I meant to talk about that before I forget. See this right here? It looks like whatever was right there, we didn't get a chance to see. You can see how it's been swirled out and blurred out. The rest of it isn't like that, so why does that get except for right here? Um, you get to see what's right there, but you don't get to see exactly what's in here. Now, a lot of that is in the original image, too. Let me show you that I'm not making that up. I didn't put that there. See it? Just big blur. And uh, NASA knows that, that we have this technology to do it. Some of their servers hit my website. They hit our... I'm sure if all you guys who make these videos go through and look. They're either laughing at us or they're seeing what they missed. Or they're judging the character. I know, like I said, people that work for NASA, I'd imagine they're not, they would want people to know what's going on up there, especially if you worked hard to get a rover on the Mars um, and this stuff was coming back and your boss wasn't saying a damn thing about it. You know, some, I think I'd be a little ticked off. Unless they went there with the knowledge that this stuff was going to be there. And that's why they've done a lot of blowing through it um, and not come back to it. Now, just check out down here, just around where the right in front of the rover where we're taking pictures. Check this piece out, it just comes up. It doesn't even look like some of it's buried in the ground down here. This out comes from NASA. That's it with just a little bit of sharpened on it. And that's what I think, that's with me tuning it up the best I can to get these pictures to come out as clear. What really takes you off is if, if you go back a couple pictures ago, some of the pictures from the NAS cam are crystal clear. So I don't think it's the, the NAS cam that's doing it. You know, These are the pictures that I think are coming along and they're being released after the fact, after something is messed with it. They put these JPEG artifacts in it by, by making it a JPEG file. A raw file shouldn't be a JPEG, it should be raw. .img would be one. NASA's got plenty of them. Here's a blur mark right over in front of something that looks interesting. Almost looks shaped like a face, but it's we're not allowed to see. Whatever it is, it got blurred out on accident, you know, whatever. Check this out, just how this piece right here seems very ornate almost honeycomb-ish, but right here, where it turns up towards this piece, it gets blurred out, and you've got a lot of heavy blur, um, so it, it, it's what's this, oh, look at here, look at this one gets the big blur, oh, check this out, how it comes around with the perfect little base to something, looks like it's been flipped over, but look at the manipulation here, look at the blur marks through here, the blur marks through here, I mean, it's sad, if you go look through the black and white pictures, you check this thing out here, this kind of comes down to a little piece whatever it is but if you take this down and look at the uh the actual black and white pictures sometimes for nasa you'll see they have to obfuscate them too um, some of them look bad like i i have one thing i made a video on when they actually rolled up to it it looked nothing like it it, it totally changed even the grid on it had changed it's like okay well how could one camera have things that go this way and then when it comes back they go both ways it makes no sense so if you see the debris here this is just like uncle jake's junkyard like i've always said uncle jake's junkyard you're taking a look at it um, old machinery old parts that's what i believe and like i've always said i see what i see you see what you see uh, that's my motto here and it's a damn good one i think because really this is all subject to what we've seen in our lifetimes what we think it is kind of even our pre you know our pre notions of what should be there and uh to me stuff like this shouldn't be there stuff like this shouldn't be there it looks like it came right off the top of a building um not if it was just a standard old piece and it's not and check these out right here look at this right here and we're almost done perfect circle right around there <laughs> you guys get to watch a cat fight while we're going on in here i don't, I don't have my camera it's not too bright in here. You can't see it. All right, guys, calm down. Let me finish the video. And look at this piece through here. What do you guys think about this? I mean, this looks like... All right, guys, here. Everybody up. Everybody out. Out, out, out. Now, you you stay. You go. See, I don't have kids. Those are my kids right there. So, <laughs> those are my kids, the cats. All right, let me hit this real fast. And you take... All right, problem solved. So, I don't know, guys. What do you think here? Look at all this stuff. This looks like just random strata out of nowhere.
not really. It looks like it's stuff. Actually, it looks like the bottom of the ocean. I'm thinking that as we've gone, what we've gone through, we've been at the bottom of water. Stuff's been churned everywhere, and uh, this is what's left after it's dried up. And there's little pockets of water here and there. I still exist. I've got a video coming out on water, and if you've never shared one before, I want to beg for you to share this one coming up. Look at that interesting piece right there. Let me see what we got when we put the black and white on. Bum bum. Doesn't it look kind of like two eyes and a mouth shooting something out at you? Yeah. All right, guys. This one's pretty cool. I thought there's tons. And I do this. I, I don't hit every anomaly anymore when I go through these. There's so many on here nowadays I can't. Um, this circle right there looks like it's got one, two, three, four. Some, that's pretty neat. Just how it's. Let's, let me zoom in on that one. A lot of interesting stuff going on on Mars nowadays, guys. We had Siding Spring come rolling by, and these are taken after it, so it looks like the rover is fine. Fine and dandy, and still crapping back old machinery or whatever heck these things are. That, to me, is cool, whatever it is. Much love to you. Come check out the website. All sorts of good stuff going on over there. We got some new people adding to it. Um, the older guys are adding to it. Uh, if you do Mars videos or you've got anything to add, pictures that you make, you got a Facebook page, you want to link something to it, come join my website. Let me know you want to and uh, we'll talk. So, all right, guys, love you. Peace. Hope you had a good one. Take it easy.